<laughs> what is the five fingers? Say to the face! <laughs> what? Slap! What does Joe Biden's hair, Nancy Pelosi's teeth, the dossier on Donald Trump, and Will Smith's slap all have in common? They're all fake. None of them are real. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. We made it up. It never happened. And we can prove it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do not believe that the slap that happened at the Oscars that everyone is talking about was real. And I intend on showing you evidence today as to why I believe that. Here's the most important thing that you must know about the Oscars last night. The purpose of people in Hollywood is attention. They want cameras focused on them. If they do not have attention, they become deprived, starving, narcissistic, sad people. They always are acting out in order to get more attention. One of the greatest moments in Oscars history was Ricky Gervais straight up telling these people precisely that. It's why this will go down in history as the most viral Hollywood awards show moment ever. Ricky Gervais roasting these people to their faces and telling them what we all think about them. If you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and f*** off, OK? <laughs> Now, if you're not getting paid attention to, and if no one is watching, then you are deprived of power. And the most viral moment from last night's Oscars was indeed, up to the point of Will Smith's slap, or alleged slap, this. Well, we're gonna have a great night uh, tonight, and for you people in Florida, we're gonna have a gay night. Gay, 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 gay. Shut up, bitch! Oh my God. Yes, that's right. Amy Schumer saying the word gay a few times and engaging in horrifying dance moves. That was your viral moment. So, this morning we all woke up to seeing the headlines about Will Smith's alleged slap of Chris Rock. Now, why did this happen? And why are there so many think pieces being written about it? And why is the internet and your social feeds flooded with memes about this event? Well, ladies and gentlemen, attention. They wish to draw your eyeballs to this incident, and now this can be a shared thing that we all talk about, therefore accomplishing the stated goal of these people's very existence. Attention, the focus being on them. So what happened here? What's the setup? Chris Rock tells a joke. We're not gonna say if it was a good joke or a bad joke. It's a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, which is Will Smith's wife. Listen. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. After this happens, Will Smith gets up and, according to some of the more low information people on the internet, in a zealous bid for restoring the honor of his wife, walked on stage and smacked Chris Rock for telling a joke about his wife. Then he walked back to his seat and said, get my wife's name out of your effing mouth. Okay, well, a couple things here. And as you look closer at the footage, you can tell that the real story here begins to break down pretty easily. Here we go. Number one. I've done a lot of research on these two men, Will Smith and Chris Rock. Turns out, and this is going to come as a shock to many of you, they're both professional actors. That's right. Will Smith and Chris Rock act for a living. They've been in movies, they've been in TV shows, and they've been doing it for the better part of 40 years. Now, number two, who slaps a man? That's right. Who slaps another man? If you are actually angry about something that has been done to your wife, an injustice of some sort or an insult, well, the thing that a regular, warm-blooded male 
would do, that is a homo sapien, would stand up and clench their fist and punch the man. That's because a clenched fist is actually much harder when it makes contact with your face and could do damage. You can see that Chris Rock is not actually defending himself. In fact, he winces before he gets slapped. He doesn't grab his face as one might when injured or hit. Will Smith is a professional actor. Will Smith is Jack. He's a big dude. You can see that he's in great shape in various movies that he's in, like I Am Legend. He played Muhammad Ali, for instance. You gotta give the man some credit. He's paid to be in shape. He stars in many action flicks. And so Will Smith certainly knows how to throw a punch. He certainly knows how to hold back, too, on a punch. The way that a professional actor or a professional stuntman would throw a punch would be to make it look real, but to actually not do much damage. And again, you can see in the film of this in a closer inspection that Will Smith is holding back his smack and just lightly brushing the face of Chris Rock. Again, Chris Rock's entire reaction here is the tell. When you get smacked in the face, it is an almost innate reaction, like blinking. It's an innate reaction to put your hand up on your face, to check yourself for injuries. And as you can see, Chris Rock is essentially joking afterwards that this was the number one moment in Oscars history. And Will Smith is smiling afterwards. Will Smith also curiously laughed at the joke that he was so offended at. Odd that, hmm, a little strange. Why is Will Smith laughing at this joke that's about to cause him to spiral into rage? But here is the cream on top of the cookie, ladies and gentlemen, the thing that gives up the whole game. That Will Smith won the Best Actor Award after the smack. That's right, Will Smith went on stage and received a Best Actor Award for acting in a movie where he hit a lot of tennis balls by smacking them. Here's what Will had to say, listen. Love will make you do crazy things. Being able to love and care for my mother and my family, my wife, um, I'm taking up too much time. Uh, Thank you for this honor. Thank you for this moment. And thank you on behalf of Richard and, and Orsine, the entire Williams family. Um, thank you. Uh, uh, Hope the Academy invites me back. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, Will talked about defending his family and that God told him to smack Chris Rock. What? Wait a second. What's happening here? This seems as though it's almost a setup to get Will Smith a ton of attention and a ton of headlines for defending his wife for some reason. Now, what reason could that be? Hmm. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a relationship. Absolutely. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy. During that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August, what do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Yeah. Much like the rest of the movie industry, the Hollywood Studio system has been in peril. Nobody is paying attention anymore because they produce crap. Do you know any of the movies that were nominated for Oscars? Are you familiar with any of the stars? Most people weren't able to name the movies or the people who won awards last night. You probably have no freaking clue who won anything because these people are irrelevant. The Oscars knows that it's irrelevant. The ratings for the Oscars has collapsed directly through the floor into the center of the earth. And so the easiest way to boost your ratings is to start doing something controversial that will bring attention back upon you. This is the point, we believe, of the slap heard around the world. 
And that's why we are very sad that we had to make this video in the first place, but hopefully exposing them for the frauds that they actually are. The entire purpose of Hollywood is to lie to you and to deceive you while entertaining you. That is the purpose of this place. It is the conception of the American movie industry and in engaging in a little bit of slap happy humor last night, they were able to accomplish their goal and entertain you while playing pretend and stealing a little bit of your attention. Are you not entertained? So hats off to whoever was behind this slap happy scheme. You got to our attention for just a little bit. Mission accomplished. Thank you for watching. We are 100% independent news. Are you sick of being lied to? We certainly are. That's why we started this channel, but we can't do it without you. We can't keep going without your help. All we ask is that you click like and subscribe and share this video. It's free and it keeps us going. It keeps us growing. It keeps us getting the truth out there to break the rotted corporate media infrastructure that wants to lie to you every single day, wants to corrupt your narratives, your truth, your story, and your very society. So support us by clicking like, clicking subscribe, and thank you, patriots.